hello guys welcome to my channel ike's empire my name is hope and in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you how to cut a pattern for a pencil skirt and today we're going to be needing our paper marker pins ruler scissors tape measure okay and if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please go ahead and subscribe let's get into the video so the first thing we're going to be doing is ruling a straight line across our paper and now we're going to be getting a measurement okay my waist measurement is 33 divided by 4 will give me 8.25 okay but i'm just going to be using 8.5 write it down somewhere now moving on to my hip measurement so we're doing the calculations okay my hip is 42 divided by 4 it gave me 10.5 i'm going to write it down in front of my hip as well and now my under butt is 41 divided by 4 is 10.25 okay write it down now on the waistline this first line is the waistline you're going to go ahead and mark your waist measurement divided by 4 i remember mine is 8.5 okay 8.5 i'll mark it right here that's my waist measurement now i'm going to mark out my waist to my hip line put your tape rule on your waist to your hip mine is 10 i'm just marking it out and then i'm going to rule a straight line on that 10 because that's where i'm going to be marking my hip okay now i'm just labeling it waistline and my hip line so i don't get confused on that my hip line that my hip that i divided by four it's 10.5 remember guys i'm going to go ahead and mark 10.5 and now i'll get my curved ruler and connect my waist measurement to my hip measurement remember your body is not straight it's curved so use your curved ruler to connect it together connect your waist and your hip together using your curved ruler now the next thing i'll do is go ahead and add my allowance and now i'm using 1.5 inch as my allowance i'll mark it and add it there and just use my curved ruler to connect using dotted lines i like using dotted lines to differentiate that that is allowance not my actual measurement okay and now i'm labeling it 1.5 inch allowance so i don't get confused when i'm marking it on my fabric make sure to always label you see right now i'm writing my front side my front skirt so i don't go and use it to cut the back because it's different from the back the next thing we're going to do is add that on the skirt you get your nipple to your nipple mine is seven divided by two is 3.5 so i'm just marking four and now you're going to get the depth of your dart and mine is four as well so right now i'm just doing everything i'm going to connect that um lines together on the dart line on the waist i'll take half an inch on each side half inch half inch and connect it to the depth of the dart so that's if you want that on your front skirt you see the that inch that i removed that's one inch i'm going to add it back to the waist that's if you want that on your skirt for me i'm not using that okay now moving on i'm going to mark my full length of the skirt is a mini skirt so i'm actually using um 19 inches so you see right here i'm just marking it at 19 inches that's the full length of the skirt 19 inches i'm going to mark it all and rule it out in a straight line now i'm going to get because this is going to be cinched my hip is 10.5 right i'm going to be taking one inch plus the allowance is 12 take one inch is going to be 11 level mark it on that last line and the um regular measurement is 10.5 take out one inch is 9.5 so just mark it right there and connect it you see it's now slanted down it's not straight you see it's slanted so that's why it's going to make your butt to be cinched and curved okay don't miss out that part anything you have on your hip minus one and mark it on the um length of the skirt line okay now moving on we are basically done with our front piece just go ahead and cut it out because this is what we'll be using to cut out the back this is what we'll be using to cut out the back now when you're done with that go ahead and fold another paper in two and now we're going to be marking out our inches for our zipper allowance me i'm just marking two inches so mark two inches all the way straight down 
and now i'm going to use my if you have a ruler use your ruler anything straight to connect the lines together i'm using two inches for my zipper allowance you can use 1.5 it's just based on you if you want to use one as well you can use one so the next thing we're going to be doing is marking the length of our zip and mine is nine inches so i'll just go ahead and mark it and then connect it just really straight line and leave it that's your the length of your zip now the next thing we'll be doing is get your front piece that front piece that you marked already get it place it on that don't place it at the end at the edge of the um back allowance so no move it to where the zipper allowance starts and place it right there because the front is different from the back if you don't want your back to have zip then that's up to you but for me i want it to have a zip so you place it there and then cut it and basically that is all for your um that's all for your pattern you see how simple it is if you follow this step you should be able to get it if you want to put your darts just go ahead and use your darts and right now i'm going ahead to label my pattern pieces this is the front piece and i'm saying that i need to cut it on fold so i don't go ahead and cut the front piece and i do not fold it just make sure you label it right that you can remember i'm putting my name on the pattern so i know it's for me you can use another person's pattern to cut another person's fabric you see i've labeled it and basically that is all label your zipper allowance and if you don't want to use a ruler you can go ahead if you don't want to use a pencil i mean or pen go ahead and use a marker so you'll be able to see it is going to be bold all of this is just extra so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and watch out for the next video bye